Big friendly giant has been found. There is a giant footprint in the sandbank. And what this is something that's going to be the next phase of study. What we know about it is quite a lot right now. Scientists have made a groundbreaking discovery deep in a cave in South Africa. That Africa is the world's second largest and second most densely populated continent. Given its size, it is no wonder some shocking discoveries are buried beneath it. In this video, we explore the 15 most mysterious discoveries in Africa. 15. Giant Footprints in South Africa On January 5, 2012, Michael Tillinger posted a video on YouTube titled Giant Footprint 200 Million Years Old South Africa. Since its release, the video has made the rounds and appeared on several blogs, UFO sites, discussion forums, Bigfoot sites, and many other discussion forums. The footprint was sighted in the Empuluzi Batholith, near the small settlement of Lothair near Chrissysmere in Mpumalanga. It is obvious that Tellinger and many others that have gathered to discuss the subject matter are not scientists. Therefore, it is difficult to get an objective explanation of the prints. There are several explanations as to what caused the footprints. The first is that prehistoric humans may have carved them out of granite. The granite in question is over three billion years old. Could it be that humans existed as of then? Better still, these prints might result from a weathered out xenolith that happened to be in the form of a human foot. Perhaps an in-depth study into the sighting may provide a more rational explanation for the giant footprints. 14. New human-like species Naledi discovered in South Africa. Scientists have uncovered a new human-like species in a secret cave in South Africa. The finding, including 15 partial skeletons, is the largest discovery of primitive human remains in Africa. These individuals are part ape and part human and are called Naledi because they could be a bridge between the two. There is evidence that these creatures were capable of ritual behavior seen only in humans millions of years earlier than originally thought. Due to the lack of other animal fossils associated with Nalidi, little is known about them. Their teeth may offer clues about their diet and environment. In fact, their teeth differ from other homo species that existed at the time. Therefore, it could mean that Nalidi lived in a distinct environment from other homo species, despite having many other morphological similarities. Further studies into this species revealed that they are related to Homo erectus and other species of the genus Homo. Paleontologists constantly excavate new areas and use modern technology to access hard-to-reach areas. However, there remain some unanswered questions about Homo naledi. 13. Sky Blue Stone, Sierra Leone Over billions of years, the Earth has attracted many meteorites that crashed on the surface. Researchers have collected lots of them throughout history, with some attributing divinity to them and others to science. The Sky Stone is one of such meteorites that is bluish and found to be composed of oxygen. It was discovered in 1990 by Angelo Pittoni, an archaeologist and geologist in Sierra Leone. Legends say the stones were beings that once lived in the sky. Because they didn't please God, he cast them into stones and threw them to earth to remain buried beneath the soil. Pitoni was curious about this discovery and sent the stone for analysis in laboratories in Tokyo, Germany, and Rome. Studies show that it comprises 77% oxygen, 20% carbon, and lime. There were also traces of silicone and other materials. Therefore, they concluded that the stone differed from others on earth. Carbon dating revealed that it arrived on our planet between 2500 to 17000 years ago. Since then, it has been in possession of several collectors who consider it a valuable object. One rare gem trader had refused to sell the Sky Stone to an American artist and designer who wanted it all cost. He knew the value of the precious stone and thought to keep it to himself. 12. Stone Circles of Senegambia the stone circles of Senegambia consist of four large groups of stone circles that represent an extraordinary concentration of over 1,000 monuments in a band 100 kilometers wide along 350 kilometers of the River Gambia. The group of megalithic complexes is the largest in any region of the world. The quality of the stones suggests sophisticated stoneworking traditions. All the circles are found near burial mounds, but their date and purpose remain unknown. However, there are indications that some stone circles were used to mark a mass grave containing bodies thrown chaotically into a pit. 
The 8 to 14 stones in each circle vary in size up to 10 ton and 1 to 2.5 meters high. Generally, the bodies in the circles were poorly adorned, with only a bracelet for decoration and a spear beside the body. Sometimes there are some pottery vessels found beside the bodies. Locals have a lot to say about the site. While some say the stones had been set in place by the gods at the beginning of time, others say they are burial markers left by ancient kings or giants. Many claim that the circles were home to spirits, good or evil. However, studies show that the site has no cultural link with present-day Islamic inhabitants. 11. Ancient Tools Lomekwi Some 3.3 million years ago, someone began chipping away at a rock by the side of the river. Eventually, this chipping formed the rock into a tool used to crack nuts or prepare meat. It is believed that this technological feat happened before humans evolved. This tool was unearthed in a dried-up riverbed in Kenya. The finding also included what appeared to be cutting instruments and hammers that were used around 700,000 years ago. It is unclear who made the tools, but scientists are convinced that they existed before any members of the Homo genus walked the Earth. The earliest clear evidence of stone tools came from a 2.6 million-year-old site in Ethiopia, and Homo habilis, an early human ancestor, made them. There is a common belief that as Africa's climate changed and forest canopies gave way to savannas, early hominids diversified and the Homo genus emerged. With a new environment came the need for more tools to process the new foods. However, scientists are uncomfortable with the explanation because in 2010, they found fossilized animal bones in Kenya dating to 3.4 million years ago with cut marks made by a stone tool. 10. The Dendera Light, Egypt the Dendera light is a motif in the Hathor Temple in Dendera, Egypt. It depicts the Egyptian creation myth, and the text surrounding the pieces confirms this. This light has been a major source of controversy in Egyptian history, as historians have given various explanations for it. It is located in a long, underground passageway directly beneath the main temple covered in bass carvings. Many historians interpret this depiction as evidence of a modern lighting system similar to a crook's tube. Supporters of this theory claim that electrical light would explain the absence of lamp-black deposits in many discovered tombs. The light is often compared to the Baghdad battery, assuming that both ancient cultures were much more advanced than we believe today. Egyptologists say the bulb-like structure represents the nut's womb, the goddess of the sky, which is also a common depiction of the night. Thus, the relief might show the rising sun making its way through the night. Despite the proof that ancient Egyptians didn't have electricity, the relief continues to stir controversy about the possibilities of that. 9. Desert Fairy Circles, Namibia In the Namib Desert are grasslands with a set of spots. The field is famously called Fairy Circles because it contains patches of vegetation ranging from 10 to 65 feet in diameter. They look otherworldly from satellite imagery on Google Maps trust local legends to have countless explanations for these sightings. They claim that the patches were created by gods who left behind their footprints on the red earth. However, scientists say these formations have more to do with biology and math than folklore. Mathematicians and biologists have struggled to understand what is responsible for the strange pattern. After intensive studies, they agreed on a hypothesis. The first is that since water is limited, plants are forced to compete for resources. As the vegetation thrives into a patch, smaller plants cannot get the water needed to survive. Therefore, the amount of vegetation disappears at the edges of the patch, forming regular distanced gaps. The most exciting fact about these circles is how they look beautiful from a satellite image, but underground, they house a termite colony. 8. Strange Spiral Geoglyphs in South Africa Farmers do their best to prepare the land for grazing. Unfortunately, the arid environment of the Karoo does not always permit it. During the rainy season, birds flock to the area, and evaporation levels are high. After a few months, it returns to being a desert. These spiral shapes in South Africa are a subject of conversation for conspiracy theorists. Many have likened it to ancient Greek geoglyphs in the Peru-Nazca desert, where giant figures like lizards and hummingbirds were drawn. In this case, the drawings are spirals, straight, and striations boldly drawn on the Earth's surface. As the debate on what these geoglyphs are and who drew them rages, farmers are even more confused. 
The farmers are smirking because the pan is so flat. They are experimenting with various techniques to help the natural plant species grow. They plow the earth with tractors. The rainwater gets caught up in a labyrinth of spirals, contributing to germinating seeds and water tables. This new growth provides a conducive environment for sheep and cattle. Maybe this finding could help explain the animated figures in the Nazca Desert. 7. The Hidden Chamber of the Great Pyramid, Egypt Egypt is home to over 118 pyramids that continue to entice tourists today. Constructed over 4,500 years ago, the Great Pyramid of Giza is the last standing ancient wonder of the world and a symbol of the country's rich culture. Researchers know that there are deeper secrets about the Great Pyramid and have spent years trying to uncover them. In 2017, some researchers were able to peek inside the pyramid. A team of experts from Japan, France, and Egypt revealed that there is a hidden world full of unexpected secret rooms and chambers. They also found a smaller void beyond the north face of the structure. However, scientists are yet to uncover what lies underneath the two voids. Another team, excited about this discovery, promised to find out what lies inside the two mysterious voids. Although the pyramid's interior remains an intriguing puzzle, its exterior is equally fascinating. The pyramid is a physical representation of eternity for the pharaohs who were believed would become gods in the afterlife. Therefore, these massive pyramid tombs were created and equipped with all the essentials they needed to sustain themselves in the next world. 6. Ruins of Getty the ruins of Getty are a historical and archaeological site located near the Indian Ocean coast of eastern Kenya. This site is adjacent to Getty in the Kilify district. This settlement is one of the many medieval Swahili settlements that stretch from Mogadishu to the Zambezi River in Mozambique. It is believed that the town was founded in the early 13th century due to finds like a Ming China vase and Venetian glass. Unfortunately, it was abandoned in the late 17th century. One reason for this abandonment could be tribes from the north migrating into the forest where Getty lies. Therefore, the original tribes were forced out of their homes. The main controversy is that there are no town records in Arabic, Swahili, or Portuguese scripts. Although it was close to Watamu, there is no reference to it to this day. Scientists found pottery from across the world, suggesting the city might be a trade center. The outlay of this city is like a typical Swahili town. Gedi is a glorious ruined town intermingled with the jungle. 5. Archaeologists in South Africa discover lost cities using laser technology. Kweneng was once a thriving city in South Africa that existed from the 1400s until its destruction and abandonment due to civil wars. Billions of laser scans revealed what would have been a lost aspect of history. It is unclear if the wars caused the city's immediate disappearance, as most of the structures dated between 1825 and 1875. Researchers have known Kweneng since the 1960s, but didn't know its actual size until now. The city is hidden under a thick layer of vegetation and has twice as many structures as earlier speculated. For the latest study, scientists used a LIDAR machine to shoot billions of lasers at the ground. One of the lasers hit an object and bounced back to the machine, calculating the time it took to return. The LIDAR results revealed a greater concentration of ancient stone-walled structures, numbering 800 to 900 compounds. Since each compound housed a few too many families, researchers believe between 5,000 to 10,000 people lived there during the city's peak. 4. The Geologic Oddity in Mauritania, the Eye of the Sahara the Blue Eye of the Sahara, also known as the Richat structure, is a geological formation in the Sahara Desert that resembles an enormous bullseye. It stretches across a 40-kilometer-wide region of the desert in Mauritania. For centuries, only a few nomadic tribes knew about the formation. It was until 1960 that it was photographed by the Gemini astronauts, who used it as a landmark to track their progress. Later that year, the Landsat satellite took additional images that revealed more information about the formation's height, size, and extent. Geologists originally believed the Eye of the Sahara was an impact crater created when an object from space slammed into the surface. Further studies revealed that the rock inside the structure was Earth-based. Geologists say this oddity is a geologic dome. 
The formation contains rocks believed to be at least 100 million years old. The rocks include sedimentary layers that form as wind push layers of dust, water deposits, sand, and mud. Today, we can find several igneous rocks in the eye area, like carbonatites, black basalts, and kimberlite. 3. Gafsa Miracle Lake Lac de Gafsa, also called Mysterious Lake, first appeared in 2014 alongside Om Larius Road, 25 kilometers from the town of Gafsa in Tunisia. The lake appeared on dry sand, and the next minute there was water. Locals were tempted to cool off in the water amid the burning heat. Hundreds flocked to the beach to dive, splash, and paddle, ignoring warnings that the water may be contaminated with carcinogenic chemicals or radioactive. Even after the water turned murky green, it did not deter tourists from visiting. While some called it a miracle, others called it a curse. Gafsa became the center of the country's mining industry after phosphate was discovered in the region in 1886. Tunisia is now the world's largest exporter of phosphate. The Miracle Lake is believed to be 18 meters deep and covers one hectare. Geologists suspect that seismic activity may have ruptured the rock above the water table, thereby sending the liquid to the surface. 2. Model aircraft found in Egyptian tomb. You probably think the last has been heard of Egyptian tombs until you see this one. The Saqqara bird is a bird-shaped artifact made of sycamore wood and discovered during the 1898 excavation of the Saqqara tomb in Egypt. This wooden figurine is believed to be around 2,200 years old. It is a controversial piece because it has led many to believe that ancient Egyptians may have understood the process of aerodynamics and that the bird was a model for today's aircraft. Many researchers say this artifact has nothing to do with an airplane. They believe it is the carving of a bird. It is only a coincidence that it takes the characteristics of a glider. There are speculations that the Saqqara bird once had a tail. Without this tail, it lacked the aerodynamic stability needed to fly correctly. In 2002, a glider designer noted that the bird was unstable without a tailplane. It was probably a child's toy or weather vane. This bird is one in many shreds of evidence about the possibilities of ancient lost technology. 1. Lalibela Lalibela, or Roja, is a religious and pilgrimage center located in north-central Ethiopia. Roja was the capital of the Zagwe dynasty for about 300 years but was later renamed for its distinguished monarch, Lalibela. According to history, this powerful queen built the 11 monolithic churches for which the place is famous. Today, the churches are designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site because they were hewn out of solid rock in various styles. The blocks were further chiseled out to form windows, floors, roofs, doors, and columns. The churches are arranged in two major groups connected by underground passageways. The craftsmanship of the Lalibela churches has been linked with the Church of Debradamo near Aksum. The emperor had most of the churches constructed in his capital, Roja, hoping to replace ancient Aksum as a city of Ethiopian preeminence. Restoration works in the area suggest that some churches may have been used as fortification sites. Today, these places of worship attract thousands of pilgrims during major Holy Day celebrations. See you in another episode!